Werapi. Therapy wherever, whenever. So, in the first part of the podcast, I'm going to talk about the pressures and expectations around Christmas. And before I do that, I'm going to introduce uh, my therapy world tour, the first country of it. Um, as you might know, I do a I'm doing a therapy world tour, so I'm offering one person from one or well, one person from every country in the world one free therapy session. I think it will help me become a better therapist and help me to learn a lot about how culture affects people's way of thinking and their mental state. Yeah. Um, so every week, every Monday, I upload three different countries on the Instagram account, uh, on Werapi's Instagram account, Werapi underscore ENG. And now, if you're listening to this on a Sunday, you're g- getting an exclusive one day head start on these people. If you're from these countries, that is. Yeah. So the first country is Laos. So if you're from Laos, send me a DM or an email saying that you're interested. Tell me a little bit about yourself and I will get in touch with the first one who got in touch with me. So that aside, let's talk about the pressures and expectations surrounding Christmas and about when we get into maybe late November or mid to late November, we start to feel that um, Christmas vibe. We might start hearing a Christmas song on the radio. We might want to snuggle up. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's quite dark outside. So we might have those nice lights um, inside and we might have um, a fireplace or we might decorate it to make us feel a little bit more happy about life. And so it's, it's meant to cheer up the darkest time of the year. Yeah. That's one way of thinking about Christmas. But there's also a a conflict there because we're when we enter the Christmas period we feel we start to build up the expectations a lot of us are gonna um, have a few days off as well we're gonna have the family visiting us so we're gonna visit them we're gonna have a big meal together we're gonna have loads of presents and we're gonna be able to focus on ourselves or so we think yeah um and the reality isn't really doesn't really meet that yeah and so there's an inner conflict and as you know if you've been following me for a while i focus a lot on inner conflict and this is a conflict between expectation and reality yeah and even though we appreciate christmas and christmas to some extent lives up to um our our notion of it, yeah, or, or what we expect of it. We also also kind of left wondering, or we're kind of left a little bit dissatisfied at times, yeah. Um, we're also trying to show the best version of ourselves. Um, we, we are gonna meet the family, the relatives, some friends, for a short period of time so and we might not have met those for a very long period of time yeah it might have been t- been a year since we last saw them yeah so we want to kind of put a good face forward yeah uh, good uh, that was a wrong expression but we we want to make a good impression that's what i'm saying yeah and that relates to the false self um a a theory within psychodynamic therapy is we use a false self to build social relationships yeah and we have a true inner self which kind of sees that false self and notices that it's fake that we're being faked and even though we do build relationships with people based on that false self we are always kind of questioning it because it's based on a false self um 
and there's a pressure of maintaining that false self. Now I'm going to go to this Christmas gathering and I'm going to have a smile on my face and I'm going to be the happiest person alive, even though my children have nagged me to death or my wife or husband or partner is we've just had a big fight or whatever yeah and then if we don't maintain that full self if we don't have that smile plastered on our face and we're happy and we're um, making merry with all our family and friends then we feel like we've let ourselves down yeah we've ruined christmas and that's a notion that is very hard to take yeah so that's a little bit about pressure and expectations around Christmas. In the next section, I'm going to talk about family, meeting the family. So stay tuned for that.